Charles Boyle. He's a grinder. Not the most brilliant detective, but he works harder than anyone else. He's not physically gifted. Oh, man, my muffin. Ah! Oh, my head. My muffin in my head. And I stepped on, the, on my muffin in my head and my muffin. You're lying about something. That's what that means. Nonsense, m'lady. OK, fine. I might not be in that hotel room right now, but my gene pool is. Ew. What'd you do in there? I gave the hotel room to my father and told him to check in under my name. What? No. I gave my key to my mom. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have the wrong room. <laughs> That's OK. Yeah, wait, hey, wait a second. Do we know each other? Is your daughter Gina? Yes. And you're that little man's father, Boyle. Yeah. We met at the family food drive. Oh. I'm Darlene Lanetti. Lynn Boyle, pleased to re-meet you. <laughs> what do you think's going on here? Uh, mix up something? I don't know. Regina's been encouraging me to have some romantic adventures. Holy cow. OK, we just unwrap it. We see what's inside. And we perfectly rewrap it. Our parents never know what happened. Ugh, Lord, you're starting to sweat. You're going to blemish the wrapping paper. Oh, you're dabbing me really hard. You know what? This is taking too long. Just scooch, you pooch. You are amazing. How did you do that? I always open my gifts in advance so I can rehearse my reactions and nail those Christmas morning candidates. Check it out. Bewonderment. Dis be loving it. <laughs> Sparkle surprise. I like that. Now focus up. Your dad got my mom. A digital scale? That's bad. So bad. So wonderfully bad. Your dad might as well have circled all the parts of my mom's body he didn't like with a marker. You did that to me. And it didn't help at all. No. Nope. My mom is going to hate this gift. And she'd hate it even more if we were both there when she opened it. Should we do a gift exchange dinner tonight with both our parents? Great idea. Maybe she'll slap him in the face and never talk to him again. <laughs> Sparkle surprise! For real! Thank you, Charles, Regina, for inviting us on this double date. Kind of like a, a fun Christmas four-way, right? Well put, Lynn. Yeah. A very sweet sentiment. Oh, my god. I have an idea. Let's open presents. OK. Oh. I want to see what everyone got everyone and how everyone reacts poorly. Fun, fun. I just hope you like it. <laughs> no. A digital scale? Lynn Boyle, you're a horrible, horrible man. You went way over our price limit. Yes, I did. And I love it! <laughs> it's gonna go so great in the guest bathroom. Oh, what? what? Lynn and I are moving in together. Mm -hmm. And the rent's a little steep, so we promised we would only exchange small gifts. Mm -hmm. But you had to push it, didn't you, did. you naughty boy? <laughs> Let me get my pookums a bread of pookums. Okay, <laughs> well, this is wonderful, but I am needed elsewhere, so I'm gonna take off. Thank you so much. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Regina. Don't play games with me, boy. This is a bad idea. Oh, it's OK. Dad's got this. He's a real sweet talker. Let's cut the crap. OK. What are your intentions with my mother? To make love to her every morning until we die. So it's just physical. <laughs> what are you, nuts? I'm a divorced, retired florist with a terrible gluten allergy. Your mom? is a beautiful, brilliant travel agent. She talks to people on the phone who've seen the whole world. I'll never meet anyone half as good as her. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. You mean other than Charles? No. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. That's OK, Pop. You did what you had to do. I love her. All I want is to make her happy forever. Fine, I give you my blessing. But if you hurt my mom and Anyway, so help me God, I will cut off your son's testicles. Snap, snap, oh. snap, and I'm not playing. Deal. <laughs> Way to go, Dad! You bagged the babe! Huh? The Boyle boys are planning a wedding! Boyle boys, Boyle boys, Boyle boys, Boyle boys. <laughs> Rosa, oh, there you are. Can you help my dad with his cufflinks? Sure. I would do it, but it's bad luck for a boy to see his father on his wedding day. Oh, well, in that case, no. Dad, listen. Oh. Let's just sit down. Oh. Oh. Screw oh. a 2,000-year-old tradition. Oh. I'm taking the bag off. Oh. Okay, Dad, listen. 
Everyone gets nervous. Everyone gets cold feet. Mm -hmm. I was nervous before I married Eleanor. She ended up cheating on you with a guy from the mattress commercial. Sleepy Stew? Don't bring up Sleepy Stew. Rosa thinks I should call off the wedding. That is not what I said. This is why I don't talk to people. I just asked him if he was feeling nervous. Rosa, you know how suggestible Boyle men are. I saw one Samuel L. Jackson movie and I wore a Kangol hat for three years. <laughs> No, do not take off that tux, Lynn. What are you doing? We had a deal. I said if you hurt my mother, I will cut off your son's testicles. You're right. Cut him off. No! Oh, check it out. Our squad has doubled the number of arrests on the night shift. Yeah, no one cares, OK? I need to talk to you about this Boyle family vacation that my mm -hmm. mom's forcing me to go on. Why is it in Butt Thumb, Iowa? No, it's pronounced Butum. And Iowa is the ancestral homeland of the Boyle clan. I am so excited for you to get to know all the cousins. Watch out for Sherman. He's left a trail of broken hearts longer than his ponytail. Boyle, can we please just go to a resort where I don't have to see your family? There's a great one in Aruba. Aruba? <laughs> Boyles don't do beaches. We're not swimmers. We're burrowers. Yes, I know, you're all earthworms, but Charles, even nature's most disgusting creatures deserve pleasure. Come to Aruba. I'm sorry, the cousins voted and it was unanimous. We're going to Iowa. We've already rented the tent. Tent singular? Charles, tent singular? <laughs> Cousin Sam, Chucky, up high, down low. Butts, butts, butts. Oh, man, I love this shirt. Where'd you get that? Oh, Mervyn's. Gina, oh. <laughs> get your rear over here. Sam, you got to meet Gina. Oh, already did? She took me out for dinner? Yeah, I just wanted to get to know Sam better and talk about the upcoming vacation. I got him his favorite, egg salad on white, bowl of cottage cheese, hard-boiled hard egg, egg on the side. side. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Turns out... Sam here also thinks we should go to Aruba. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but the Caribbean might be more fun than Iowa. In what universe? I'd tell you to pack sunscreen, but mm, looks like you already got burned. Uh-oh, did I? Because my skin still tastes pretty raw. Ew. Sorry, votes in. 13-2, Iowa. For now. But I have a whole day of Boyle Cousins scheduled, starting with Bobby Boyle at 3 o'clock for afternoon eggs. You think you can pick us off one by one? Yeah. Well, you can. Boyles are very weak as individuals. The Council of the Cousins. Look at them. It's like a beige of pigs. Gina, you seem rattled. You don't normally make puns. That's a pun on what? Listen, Charles, I'm going to sway the council. So give up now unless you enjoy being humiliated in front of your family. Oh, you think I'd be embarrassed in front of them? In front of Don Boyle? I changed his diapers. And I'm about to change yours. Ugh. Hello, cousins. Bobby, Brendan, Bill, Bernard, boy Corey, girl Corey. Papa Boyle once said, stay in the middle. That's where it's safe. That's where we thrive. That's Iowa. Charles will have you believe that Aruba isn't for the boils. But picture this. One long banana boat with the 15 of us on it holding each other by the waist, having the time of our damn lives. Do we really want to go where Pirates of the Caribbean took place? Yes! 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 No! That movie gave us nightmares for months! Oh. Y'all know I got y'all aqua socks! Oh, size seven for everybody! In conclusion, boils are nothing if not loyal. Loyal to our favorite brand of peanut butter, Mr. Nuts. Loyal to each other and loyal to Iowa. I love you. I love you. OK, we're both here, Sam. Go ahead. Well, it was a real hard decision, but ultimately we decided the Boyles are going to Aruba. Ow! All right, Sam, well, I'm happy to hear that. I think the sun's going to be really good for everyone's psoriasis. We're all so excited. All right, I love you, Charles. I love you, Gina. Oops, last yeah. <laughs> It was almost too easy. I'm like the Temple Grandin of hurting boils. Yes, you are. What? Why are you smiling? I don't get it. I won. Did you? You were so busy trying to beat the boils, you became one. You learned about our likes and dislikes, our allergies and our phobias. You even bought Cousin Sherman a scrunchie for his ponytail. Yeah, so I could win. And you did win. A plot in the family cemetery. All of us together, lying in a grave for eternity. Grave singular? Charles, grave singular? <laughs> <laughs>